this has to be one of the most incredible views I've seen in my life. Three, two, one. In this video, I am going to do the world's steepest zip line ever. I did have some convincing to do, but eventually I got Janine on board as well. And together, we're going to do this crazy adventure. After this, we're gonna have some local food and see traditional dancing. So welcome to this video. And off we go. First things first, we are gonna go to an office and book our zipline experience there because we don't wanna just show up there. We want to book it in advance. So let's see where we have to go right now and how much it's actually gonna cost. Look who we found on the street. Look what I got. Ooh, what did you got? Kit Kat caramel. Kit Kat caramel. Oh, it's very full. Okay, here we go. Hello to Lakeside. Okay, right now we're sitting in the front of the bus. <laughs> Thank you. We're too tall for the I bus. I hit many times. You yeah. hit your hat? Three times already. <laughs> We found the place, it is called High Ground Adventures. This is how it looks like, they even have an ATV here, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna ask right now how much the zip line is, this is the official store, so let's see. You can go over there tomorrow, the earliest at 8. So today is our last day here. In Bokhara? Yeah. You. Is it possible I cannot take my own transportation yes, to there? You can go on. And then it, it's possible? Yes, of course. Okay. So right now they don't have transportation available. So I have to go there by myself on my own transportation and book my spot there. So let's go. Amazing. I just did the booking. So unfortunately, they didn't have enough availability today. So I made a reservation for tomorrow morning. I have the earliest spot possible. So I will be picked up at 7.30 a.m. So I will see you when it's that early. And the next morning is now. It is currently very early. It's 8 a.m. And we just got in the bus. Right now we are picking up more people. And then we are going on a 40 minute drive up to the mountains. It is crazy because the views right now are the most beautiful we've ever seen up until now. All the mountains are out. It's still quiet on the streets. So let's get this 40 minute drive done. We made it to the entrance point, Zip Flyer Nepal. And I cannot believe how high up we are. I think this is the highest up we've been up until now. This has to be one of the most incredible views I've seen in my life. There are literally mountains all around us and we haven't seen the view this beautiful and this clear yet. I can't believe it. This is insane. We literally almost have mountains all around us. I've never seen view like this. And there are also eagles in the air. The mountain tops are so huge. Wow. One thing that I actually haven't told you guys is that this is the world's steepest and tallest zip line. Here you can see the sign. This is the world record. I cannot believe it. It is 1,850 meters long, 2,000 feet vertical drop, and it can go very, very fast. So how fast does it go? 120 kilometers per hour. That's like the highway in the Netherlands. <laughs> First people are going. I think it's nice that we can see how it goes. <laughs> Let's have a look at how the first people go. <laughs> So the other people just went and right now we are preparing ourselves for our flight. Is this breakfast for champions? Only for champions. Only for champions. What is it? Snicker. 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 <laughs> right, it's our turn guys. World steepest and tallest zip line. Here we go. Janine is super afraid, so we're gonna probably hear a lot of screams. <laughs> Maybe I will be afraid later on as well. Let's see. Hello. Ma Hello. That's amazing. We can put the bag there. Yes. Okay. Do you have this? Could you have it, please? Heads up. I'm a little bit tired, okay? Perfect. There will be a wind pressure on the way. Oh, perfect. Is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> Very tight, but that's okay. Okay, sit down, please. Oh. Your hands out from the harness. Here? Yeah. 
Okay. Legs on the door, ma'am. Like so this? better to hold it. Uh, GoPro in your left hand side, ma'am. Left hand side. Yes, ma'am. Are you ready? I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay, we're Here we ready go, to go, guys. <laughs> I'm excited. Automatic. <laughs> My heart is beating very fast right now. Okay, four, three, two, two one. one. I left 100 lives up there. I don't think I ever went so fast in my entire life. There was so much coming out, like tears, slime out of my mouth. It went so fast. I couldn't even breathe at one point. This is crazy. Okay. Oh One little and more. Okay. Time of my life. <laughs> really enjoyed it, ma'am? Yes, I really enjoyed it. Okay, out of the harness. This was actually so fast. Crazy. This is how my <laughs> Insta360 was as well. And this is how the chair looks like. This was crazy. How was it for you? I couldn't open my eyes at one point. <laughs> I couldn't no, breathe I at one point. I was like... <laughs> and then I turned and you went way faster than I that did. I was so fast. We'll I again. loved it. I was not afraid at all, but I was just like... <gasps> I couldn't breathe. What would you rate yeah. it? Definitely 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Yeah. I love it. I really would do it now again. I was so scared in the beginning, but yeah. now I'm so happy that I did. It's amazing. It's so good. We're now walking towards the cafe and actually you can see the bungee jump place behind us. Look, that's where the bungee jumping is. But we're not going to do that today. Okay, we made it to the cafe. I ordered a bottle of water. And we got a certificate which says Dream It, Dare It, Do It, the world's most incredible zip line. And it has my name written on it. I love it. I'm now trying to recover a little bit. I just looked back at the footage and I completely forgot that I was recording. I was literally in survival mode because I turned around two times and I was like, this is not, they said I shouldn't do this. And I tried to like keep it open and then I forgot where I had my GoPro. It was one big shit show, but at least I had fun. I had a good time. I really liked it. And to be honest, it's not too scary at all i was just very worried about all my cameras going on and about turning around but such a good experience and to be honest the bungee jump if i would not be this sick i would maybe do it it looks really badass as well such a good thing i would really recommend coming here guys like the zip line is such an experience And just like that, we made it back into the city. Right now, we are very, very hungry. So it is actually time to try out some very local food. So let's go and look for that right now. We cannot leave Pokhara without eating some true Nepalese food. So we're going to do this right now. And this is the place where we are doing it. It says authentic Nepali cuisine. And I'm going to go in right now. It says Lakeview. So I am really curious what the Lakeview is. And pretty dark going up. But we need to have some good, good Nepali food. We have the fish tali set and can i ask what is your best seller we have only green salad chicken chicken is most ordered yeah. okay we just heard the bell so the food is probably ready i haven't seen a kitchen here the lady is gonna walk down now to get the food i'm really curious we just checked the reviews here of the restaurant they were very interesting so we have no idea what we're up against too but probably get the food in one minute i can't wait i'm really really excited i've never had a fish tally set in my life before and i also never had dando in my life before that's what we get now with the fish set so let's see Ooh, thank you Thank me. Okay, thank you so much You want ghee? Is it normal? Yeah Okay Just a little bit Tea? 
Oil. Okay, it's thank oil. you. O oil. Okay, thank you. <laughs> wow, it's actually a lot. I didn't expect it. And she just put oil on the dando. So dando, it looks a little bit like mashed potato. But to be honest, I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna have my first bite of dando. This is how it looks like. Super interesting. I'm just gonna have it without anything because I'm really curious what the taste is like. Mmm consistency is unlike anything else I've ever had before. It's like mashed potatoes, but then with like a grain in it. There's like something that I'm tasting, but I don't really know what it is. You can taste that it's been stirred for a very long time, but let me try it with the fish. So this is how it looks like. I think it's kind of a base dish because by itself, it's not that special at all. Let me try it together. Mmm, the fish is so nice. It's very rich in flavor and I understand now the demdo as a base is perfect with it. By itself, it's I would not recommend it to eat it by itself. And then we got another one here, which is, this has a very interesting color. It's like gray and black. I don't know what's in there. It looks a bit like beans. So I'm gonna have a taste of the beans and then see what the taste is like. Okay, I mixed it as well. So this is the color, it's super interesting. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it's actually good. It has like a warm kind of feeling. I like it, but I don't think there's enough flavor. I think the fish one is the best one of all. I would give this dish 8.5 out of 10 because I am not 100% sure about the dandu. It is the first time that I ever tried it. It's very interesting. So I think I need to get used to it. Yeah. Vishnu is gonna try it as well. So let's try. This is my first time. You try it without oh. anything before. Okay, let's try it without. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Have you ever had anything like this before? Never, never, no, no. Even in Indonesia, we don't have like this. Wow, it's it's plain first, it's plain, like not really taste. What do you rate it? I think this, maybe I think like 6.5, okay. 7, yeah. Okay, let's try, combine them. Maybe it's a better mix. Okay, now it's better. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect, because it's like plain, again like she said, this is really a lot of taste and then, you know, like herb, I feel, I have sore throat actually, <laughs> and it's really killing me. Actually, that's a fun fact, we're all very sick while we are <laughs> recording today, we're all having a flu, there's something going on in Nepal at the moment, but we're still going strong, just some information. <laughs> The bumbu, the flower, the flavor, it's amazing. Yeah, right. I like it, I like it. So for now, I think it's like 8.5. Together. Yeah, together. Okay. It's nice. So that's our rating for our first ever fish takali set. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Right. We are leaving the restaurant. I cannot believe this was my first time ever and we stayed already for a few days here in Pokhara, but I really enjoyed it. So we have one more stop here in Pokhara and that is to witness a traditional traditional dance. We're quickly gonna pick up Janine right now because she is going to join us. This dance will be after sunset so I will see you guys when it's dark. And we picked up Janine. It is currently night. We are going to the dance right now. We're walking towards there. In the meantime, I got really, really sick. So please don't mind my voice. I have an insane cold going on right now. Apparently everyone in Nepal is sick, so I'm not the only one. But I still wanted to check out this super traditional dance. So I'm gonna take you guys along. So this is the place where we're gonna watch the local dance, Nepalese culture folk dance program. It is from 7 until 9, 15 p.m. So it's two hours long. It's actually really, really long. Wow. Oh, today is Saturday, so it's busier today. Oh, they started already. Yeah, now. We're a little bit late. Yeah, now it's starting. But it's two hours long, right? Two okay. and a half, like. Two and a half hours. It's so cozy here. Okay, so they started already as you can hear, but look, there even is a campfire here, which is so nice because it's actually a little bit cold tonight. It is literally so nice to watch this because all the ladies are smiling all the time. I love it. She's now dancing on her own and look how much energy there is in this dance. It's incredible.
fire is on all around us because it is getting cold but the fire adds such a nice vibe to this evening because look at Janine. Hello, hello, <laughs> are you cold? Yes, and it's so nice and cozy. Like here there's even fire. There. I can smell it. It's like Christmas vibes. It's really, yes, really yes. nice. And there's one more fire. And the candle light and we had really nice ginger tea. Yes. And you can see the moon, where it's so nice. Under the flag. Yes. Wow. And we made it back to our apartment. Today was so much fun and I cannot believe this was our last day in Pokhara. We literally had the best time here. If you want to see more of my Pokhara series, please check out my other videos. And right now we are going on an epic other adventure here in Nepal. So please do not forget to like and subscribe because there are many more Nepal videos coming. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in my next one.